Oh, it's more hoes in this house than that. Men, men, how you like the outfit? How you like the outfit? I want y'all to clap right now. Cause after 10 minutes, I'm gonna stop holding my stomach in. <laughs> this gonna be a whole nother motherfucking outfit in 10 more minutes. No, cause that shit women do. Y'all know we go to the club and shit, hold your stomach in, trying to be cute and shit. Trying to walk to get to your seat. Gas building up like a motherfucker. Your back hurting and shit. But you still trying to be cute. And it's not that you worried about what men gonna say. Cause men don't give a fuck about a little bit of gut. It's just that we don't want other bitches to be talking about us. That's right. You know that cause women, we hard on one another. Women are hard on other motherfucking women. A woman can see another woman dressed sharper than a motherfucker from head to toe. We'll look at that bitch up and down and say, the bitch toenail polish was chip, she ain't all that. But that's why a lot of women have problems finding a man. Cause we be worried about too much shit. I got a girlfriend of mine, I've been knowing this bitch for eight years. She say the same shit all the time. I can't find me a man. I can't find me a man. I'm like, bitch, in today's society, a man can find a motherfucking man. How the fuck can't you find you a man? You know what the problem is? Women are too fucking picky. We are. We are too fucking picky. We worrying about how much money he making, where he's shopping at, what kind of car he's driving, who he was fucking before he was fucking us. <laughs> I'll tell you, men, they find one good thing about a bitch and ride out with that. <laughs> this bitch could be toe up from the flow up. He'd give a stupid ass explanation like, no, I went to school with her brother and shit. Let me tell you the key to finding a man. First of all, you got to learn how to say so what. So what? So what they lie. You know them motherfuckers lie. I dated one, he lied so good. I dated him for five years, he lied so good. I used to call him the Lion King. <laughs> Telling you, you just gotta learn how to deal with certain shit. You got to learn how to say so what. So what they younger than you. I see so many older women go years without a date. Let me tell you something. The law didn't say you couldn't fuck a man younger than you. You seen the movie that came out two, three summers ago with Angela Bassett? How Stella got her ass waxed? <laughs> this shit can happen for you. Me personally, I stay fucking a young boy. Shit, I buy Playstations by the dozen. I stand outside the club and wait for him to come out. Nigga got that Madden 2000, nigga got that Madden 2000. Got that NBA Live, nigga got that NBA Live. Got that Jersey throwback, nigga, what shall lie? <laughs> One person I know never have a problem finding a motherfucking man, J-Lo. Ho! That bitch stays busy, don't she? Woo! J-Lo throw that pussy from the free throw line, don't she? That bitch don't give a fuck. <laughs> Jay don't, don't give a fuck if you're black, white, or Puerto Rican. That bitch like freaking. <laughs> I'm telling you, they talking about Jenny from the block. Jenny got a hot cock. <laughs> I ain't mad at her though, cause she don't discriminate. She like me, I'm telling you. I don't discriminate. I like what the fuck like me. I'm telling you, I don't give a fuck if he fat. I date a fat motherfucker. Just as long as him and his dick is twins, we ain't gonna have no problem. <laughs> nah, I'm serious. Now, cause some of us trip the fuck out. Some of us trip the fuck out and lose our mind. Like Juanita Jordan, she almost lost her motherfucking mind two summers ago. She let her friends convince her to, to shut it down on Mike. But you gotta admit, she did some old Angela Langsbury murder she wrote type of shit on him. <laughs> she did. She went out and hired a private investigator to follow him around for six years. Do you know the amount of dirt you could have on a motherfucker for six years? <laughs> when I heard this shit, I didn't have but one thing to say. Juanita better not call my house with no bullshit. 
Don't call me with no shit. I ain't trying to say I fuck Mike, but I got a pair of Jordans, bitch. Don't put me in it. <laughs> Not because you a bad motherfucker when you decide you gonna leave Mike. Do you know how rich this motherfucker is? I mean, after you leave Michael Jordan, the only other rich black person you can marry is Oprah. And I don't know if you want to change your diet up like that, but hey, sure. <laughs> Telling you, find yourself a motherfucking man. Don't worry about what other people say about him. So what, he ain't cute? So what, he ain't cute? Just don't go nowhere with him, shit. <laughs> oh, that's how they do us. You know that's how they do us. You know who you all be begging a nigga, I'd like to meet your friends. Bitch, I told you ain't got no friends now. Nah. I'm excited because I see, I see a few white people in the audience. And I'm telling you, our country right now, our country is going through some crazy, crazy, crazy shit. Country going through some crazy shit. And I'm telling you, white people that's here tonight, y'all doing some good shit. Y'all mixing and mingling with the black people. Because I'm going to tell you something about black people. We don't panic when the shit start getting crazy. Now watch the economy getting ready to get fucked up. Watch the white people gonna start jumping out of windows, jumping off of bridges, taking motherfuckers hostage. They gonna go crazy cause they money fucked up. Now black people see when our money get fucked up, we just have chicken dinners, fish fries, sell a little weed, sell a little pussy on the side. We ain't trying to fuck shit up. I'm telling you, white people y'all got to start watching Black people, watch how we survive through this motherfucker. I'm telling you, I learned this shit by watching CNN. I was watching the Enron account. And they was on there talking about the Fortune 500 company where they fooled their employees about their financial earnings. The white lady on this bitch was distraught. This bitch was crying. She was like, I can't believe that they misrepresented their financial earnings. I'm sitting there like, bitch, that's called balling, bitch. Now, I noticed that the white people were distraught, but the black people that worked for the company, they was mad, but they wasn't distraught. You know why? It's because black people, we prepare ourselves for the bullshit, especially when we work on a job. We know y'all gonna come with some bullshit down the line. That's why whenever we work on a job, we steal shit every motherfucking day. Oh, we start out with small shit like pens and papers and shit and work our way up. We'll fuck around and take a computer home piece by piece. We'll leave that bitch with a mouse and a pocketbook, a keyboard and a magazine and shit. I'm telling you, we'll fuck around and steal shit we don't even need. You can go to Tamika house, Tamika be sitting in that bitch in a one bedroom apartment with an intercom system throughout. She be sitting in that bitch talking about James line one, James line one. James sitting next to her talking about, bitch, I hear you. I'm telling you, you got to learn how to say so what. So what the dick ain't as big as you like it. So what the dick ain't big as you like it. Cause dick don't have to be big to be good. <laughs> you don't hear what I'm saying? Dick don't have to be big to be good. <laughs> it don't. Y'all know dick don't have to be big to be good. <laughs> Look at a couple of these women up here and I'm like, what the fuck is she talking about? Where's she going with this dude shit? Cause they don't agree with this shit at all. Now you know women that the dick don't have to be big to be good. Cause we understand as we get older, it don't have to be big. It don't have to be big. We understand that all the men couldn't pick their own dicks. We know that. You know, cause if God had allowed you to pick your own dick, everybody would have picked the big dick. We know that. But I just want to say to all the women in the house, men, we don't mind y'all having little dicks. We don't mind when the dick ain't big. But the only thing we say is when you don't have a big dick, don't show up with a big dick man's conversation. <laughs> and by that, I mean this. 
See, when you have a big dick, we will allow you to speak to us in a certain way. Like, we allow y'all to get verbally aggressive with us. We like that shit from time to time. We do. We like when we make y'all mad and y'all get all crazy and shit and be calling us with that old stupid shit. We like that type of shit. Like, for instance, when you have a big dick, you can speak to us like this. So where the fuck you been? I'm calling you all motherfucking afternoon. I'm calling your job. I'm calling your cell phone. I've been paging you. Where the fuck you been? But when you don't have a big dick, lower your motherfucking voice. You don't speak to me like that. When you don't have a big dick, this how you supposed to say that same statement. I was worried about you. I thought something happened to you. I've been calling your job. I've been calling your cell phone. I was finna call your mama. I was worried about you. And some of y'all dicks so small, y'all don't need to say shit. Just hand a bitch a note. Oh, you was looking for me. I told you my cell phone was acting up. It don't work all the time. Now look at the men. They don't know what the fuck to do on this joke. Now watch it now, because ladies, when y'all get in the car, they're going to try to find a reason to holler at your motherfucking ass to find out where they go. You're going to go to touch the radio. Don't touch that goddamn radio. Just turn around and straighten his ass. Say, lower your motherfucking voice. Y'all, my name is Samoa. Y'all been wonderful. Thank y'all for coming out, y'all. Ah, uh -huh. the original queen.